angle. How does that look to you, Thomas? Outside the International Space Station, ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet performs maintenance in the vacuum of space. It's the second time this year he's been called upon to carry out an extravehicular activity, or EVA. It's very demanding work, both technically and physically. Yet, for an astronaut, the chance to spacewalk is regarded as the ultimate experience. As you know, some of our Back on Earth, ESA's newest astronaut, Matthias Maurer, is learning the technical skills which may one day allow him to float free in space. I hope that I get the chance to do spacewalk because all my colleagues told me uh, spacewalk it's, it's like the best experience of your space flight. Leaving the station, seeing the station from the outside and having a very clear picture of the Earth below you without being limited by a window, just looking through your visor. That is uh, yeah, the perfect image and, and I'm really looking forward to it. I would like to have the as well as theory classes, astronauts are given training in how to use the specific tools they need during an EVA. It takes a whole new set of skills to carry out complex tasks in microgravity. And practice makes perfect, even if, like Tim Peake, you've been lucky enough to spacewalk before. I have so many fantastic images and, and wonderful memories of my six-month mission to space. If I was to have to choose one highlight, I would probably say the spacewalk was the highlight. Just going out of the hatch and seeing space, seeing Earth, and looking back at the space station from inside a spacesuit, that really was another order of magnitude uh, over and above just the experience of going into space. The neutral buoyancy pool is the closest thing to space on Earth where astronauts can float in a simulated microgravity environment. After the lengthy process of suiting up, Matthias and Tim entered the water and were guided through operations on submerged replicas of the station's modules. And then I'll uh, get my crew log bag on a PRT. Sorry, Tim, you need to have a bit of patience with me. No problem at all, Matthias. Just take your time. And hey, Matthias, you don't have to ingress the APFR. We could have the divers put you in, or if you would like the extra packages, you can go ahead and try to ingress it there. And it opened. Excellent. These sessions closely mimic real EVAs, which can last for six hours and are followed up by a debrief from the trainers. It's a thoroughly demanding experience from start to finish, especially for a first-timer or rookie. I feel like a child that's learning how to walk. And it's like, it's so frustrating, you make two steps and you fall down and then you look around and see like him just effortlessly floating around, handling everything and he smiles and I'm and come, struggling. I still need to figure out like what is the way, how to move the arms and not fight against the suit. So I, I need to know your secrets. <laughs>